monk fruit, a very popular sweetener, uh, also called swingle fruit or lohangwai, comes from South China or and or Northern uh, Thailand. 150 to 250 times sweeter than sucrose uh, with uh, no calories. So what they do is they take the fruit, they take the skin off it, they take the seeds out and they crush the fruit and that extract has, that juice has uh, no calories. It is the uh, mogoside compounds extract that um, is responsible for that sweetness. So what happens with that is it's, a, it's not absorbed by the upper GI tract. And by the time it reaches the colon, we have... Um, we have microbes that, that strip it down and, and use some of the glycosides um, for fuel. Anyway, monk fruit uh, has not been shown to increase blood sugar. It has been deemed safe for children, the elderly, for um, pregnant mamas. But I would say there's one caveat, and this caveat goes for any of the sweetener, any type of sweetener. So yeah, um, yeah, um, no, no, zero calories, um, you know, not absorbed by the GI tract, um, eventually broken down by the, the colon. But with any of these sweeteners, they hit the reward center in our brain, right? We eat them, we like them, we, ooh, they're great. So no calories, but it's not all about calories because this sweetness, because it triggers that reward uh, center in our brain, uh, can trigger um, us to want to eat more. If something tastes nice, we want to eat more of it. So, unless you keep a handle on it, it could actually increase your hunger for sweet um, sweet food. It's one of the reasons that with my clients, when I first start with them, um, there's a lot of these great fun products that you can have, but I, I try and keep them away at the beginning just because uh, I want to get them away from that sweetness for a little while. So monk fruit, it's fabulous. We can make, do a lot of great things with it. My only um, hesitation would be when something tastes that good, we want to eat too much of it, right? So you've got to have a little bit of self-control.